have to see that. From policeman to, see that. to the most influential strongman in Haiti, this is Jimmy Barbecue Charizier, the leader of the G9, a coalition of some of the country's most powerful gangs. That alliance controls swathes of the capital, Port-au-Prince, as it has fought rival organizations, killings, extortion and rape have shot up. The United Nations say it's the worst violence in the country in decades. But in his first interview with international press in more than a year, Cherizier argues the gangs aren't at the root of Haiti's problems. Everyone sees only people with guns doing violence, but they don't see the corruption in the country. If you steal state money, if you don't build hospitals and schools and don't care for those in need, all this will continue to spawn violence. Even if you eliminate all armed gangs, if social problems are not solved, there will still be the same amount of violence. Successive Haitian governments have long neglected the population, but now there's also a power vacuum in the country. Not one official has been democratically elected, and many see the current Prime Minister, Ariel Henry, as illegitimate. Analysts say that's let the gangs off the leash. Well, before, the gangs acted as a kind of uh, mercenaries uh, to the so with the economical lead and political leaders, but they have uh, over the years diversified their income sources and have acquired uh, some kind of autonomy uh, from their sponsors as they have became become increasingly powerful. Cherizier says he's a community leader, protecting people under his control. But gangs in Haiti control food, fuel and other commodities passing through their territory, demanding protection money, hijacking trucks. The United Nations also accuses Cherizier of massacring civilians and blockading the country's largest fuel terminal. Last October, it levelled sanctions against him. He told Al Jazeera he was innocent and unworried. I don't have a problem with sanctions against me because I carry Haiti in my heart until I die. It doesn't bother me because I don't travel, I don't have any goods and any interest in foreign countries. I want to stay and live in my country just like the US, Italians and Canadians are proud to live in their home. I'm proud to live in Haiti. But in Haiti the crisis continues. The day Al Jazeera spoke to Cherizier, protests erupted after more than 10 police officers were killed across a week. An ex-policeman himself, he says they're outmatched and underfunded. Honestly, the police lack a lot of means to guarantee safety, but the country's problem is more political. It is the politicians who are creating chaos so that they can keep their power to make more money. These are all the reasons why they don't pay the policemen well and give them the means and they become discouraged. The United Nations is advocating for a foreign force to intervene and help the national police bring law and order. So far, there are no takers to lead it. There are also serious doubts about whether there will be elections this year. But if nothing changes, men like Cherizier will continue to be all-powerful. John Holman, Al Jazeera.